Sean Sewell, ingamer.com in our beautiful mountains of Colorado. Doing a little hiking around, trail scrambling, a little bit of mountain biking, a whole lot of camping. And we're testing out the brand new Zero Scrambler Low Shoe collaboration with Michelin. Look at that tread. So these come out later this month. Um, we just recently had a podcast with Steven Sashin of Zero, and uh, he sent these over right after that, and I'm glad he did because these are my new favorite shoes. In this review, I will tell you why. So let's get into it. We'll start with sizing. I'm six foot, six foot one, 215 pounds. Uh, just recently had foot surgery on my left foot. So I've been really picky on what shoes I'm gonna test and wear on a daily basis. I have mostly been wearing those bedrock sandals um, or being barefoot most of the time. It just has felt really good in my recovery from the foot surgery. Um, so I, you know, sometimes I'll wear other brand shoes as well um, that we do reviews on, but this nails everything I'm looking for in a shoe. One, it's actually pretty beefy for what it is. It's lightweight, but it's got good amount of uh, under support right here and then the traction if i can get this mud off it's kind of mixed mixed of uh, mud grapple hail a little bit of rain you can see right there michelin yeah michelin tread and my wife was pretty funny when i brought them out of the box two weeks ago for the first time she started smelling them. she's like oh i love the smell of tires i can't blame her i do too it smells pretty good but this grip is really awesome they say it's mountain bike inspired we are out using them mountain biking. That's a, another Colorado local company, Borealis. It's a prototype fat bike, e-bike we're testing. But back to these shoes. So I believe it's a 10 millimeter stack throughout. And it's a zero drop, obviously zero shoes. And then one of my favorite parts is the wide toe box. That really helps accommodate um, natural splay of the toes, which I've found personally to be really, not only comfortable, but I feel like the right word would be correct. Like that's the way your feet should splay. I, I don't like shoes that are smaller and tighter and they cause binding. It, that might even be why I had to have foot surgery in the first place. I had, a, I had three conditions I was dealing with when I had surgery. I had a broken foot, one. I uh, just from kicking a, a table on accident really hard, broke, broke the foot. And then um, Halux rigidus, which is rigid big toe. And then gout. I, hereditarily have high uric acid levels. So I had a lot of things kind of stacked against me. So anything I can do to keep my feet as healthy and happy as possible, I'm gonna do. And so the Zero Shoes, the Scrambler alone in particular, has been really helpful. In fact, I just did a 10 mile round trip backpacking trip and I wish this came in the day or two before that because I would have worn these over the, the shoes I wore on that trail. My feet were unhappy. The moment I got to camp, I went barefoot and I went to those sandals and I just uh, soaked my feet in the lake. <laughs> but these, these, if you're looking for a very capable zero drop shoe that has your foot protected because you're dealing with rocks and, you know, branches and shrubs and who knows what on the trail and you want good grip, these are where it's at. I believe the MSRP when they are released to the public be a 150 or so, so right in line with what you expect. I also have a boot from them I'm gonna be testing out too, so stay tuned for that review. I believe it gets released the same day. But I just really wanna get this one up because it has been my go-to shoe. And of course, if you wanna go ultra minimalist, you can just take the insole out. There's the insole. I actually like the insole, so I'm keeping it in there, but you could for sure go insole less and save a few millimeters of stack right there. But I'm not gonna say I have to have the lowest drop shoe possible. I just want it to be good ergonomics, good toe box, good grip, lightweight, and comfortable. And then I'll use it. Hopefully seeing this and getting my thumbs up from Engearment is helpful. I'll put links below if you do want to purchase. I want to put these back on and I'll take this bike and I'll go back up there and have some fun today. I'm Sean Sewell, Engearment.com. Until next time, take care.